I am Pat, and we're playing yet another Zombie Survivors, the demo, for 30 minutes. And then at the end, I'm going to judge it and figure out if it is for me. Even if it isn't for me, you might be enlightened to see some gameplay. And it might be for you. It is a survivor game, like Vampire Survivors. I think I saw it on Reddit, and it looked like that. I have not played with that. Timer is on the right. Let's start it right now. Uh-oh. Wasn't supposed to do that, but whatever. Ha ha, you didn't see anything. Start. I can be a SWAT man, a tank man, an engineer man, or a ghost man. Or, you know, a huntress. Let's go for SWAT man. Okay, let's go to the I <laughs> unlockable items. Nothing. Okay, it is the demo. So what I'm looking for here is an addictive experience. It's supposed to do things by itself, much like any... Okay, I already don't like how the bullets are slow. That's so weird, but it is part of the entire... Vampire Survivor genre. I, I know Horde Survivor is that the, the name they decided on. Hey, experience, cool. I want more pickups. I want an entire team, a squad. Maybe that's how you get more weapons instead of um, how Vampire Survivors did it. Where, where I'm gonna refer to that a lot because yes, I do get to recruit more people. I could get a bigger gun or a friend. It seems to be forcing me to choose tank because. The highlight thing is just there. The engineer creates powerful electric weapons to fight zombies with his resourcefulness and quick thinking. He uses his brains and brawn to stay alive and protect those around him. I will pick the tank. He has less brain. He also has a shotgun, which means nearby opponents are going to get shot up. So instead of picking up weapons, you pick up people. So that can be... That's interesting. I guess it lends that growing idea better than the... I mean, ooh, automatic turret. Sure, more turrets. Let us focus on upgrading a single guy. because Or getting various things going. Because that's how I play Vampire Survivors. I think that's how the optimal way to play. Like, you don't want small upgrades. You want big, gigantic upgrades to one thing. You want it to level up, be it at full power, and then work from there. I... Sure, another automatic turret will be fine. So those boxes above their names might be might indicate excuse me might indicate how many upgrades they can get so that's a thing if there's anything i want to say i mean i love the graphics of vampire survivors that for some reason that just really appeals to me but there is something to be said about big shinies and blood everywhere i'm gonna get another recruit fill out our active abilities or at least the abilities for doing something yeah the floating power thing um, the floating abilities, the abilities that come from nowhere that is endemic of Vampire Survivors. And endemic is the wrong word, but I'm going to use it anyway. The levels are going so fast. I want a drone. Oh yeah, that must be upgrades. Because even our pistol upgrade had boxes over it, which indicated that's how many things we can put on it. Or maybe that's its max level. Five seems a little low, but we'll see what the full game brings us. Eventually, Vampire Survivors added more mechanics like removing options from even popping up or even maps that you had to explore but the initial area was just here's a green place Do you want to kill a lot of things do it i will upgrade the pistol because it's already at level two to start with that's interesting but yeah automatic turret is going hard uh, these are our cooldowns which i don't think you have that in vampire survivor i just played it like a few days ago and it didn't tell me what the cooldown was. At some point in the game, by the end, it didn't really matter what the cooldown was because you were just punching things. It was just, it was just madness. It was lights and anger, but quiet anger for me because I don't play it with the sound on. Sometimes I do. I like playing Vampire Survivor or things like these. Basically, like an idle game, where you kind an idle game, not an idle game. There's no 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 concerts here, no singing, no nothing. See. Now we have a magician who can spin saw blades around him. So it's a shared life pool between the three of them. I, you know what I forgot to check? I forgot to check if adding more people changes our life pool or, you know, one man still has a thousand HP. More saw blades. Let's max out what we have. Oh, I do like that little detail. Look at the saw blade. The clean one, the freshly spawned one is white and it's getting redder. Yeah, the graphics are nice as... To continue a thought that I started one million years ago, I do like the, the pixel art graphic style of Vampire Survivors. 
But I do like Big Shiny. I do like seeing things fire. I do like animations. And this seems kind of neat. Electrocution. Electrocute zombies around. I don't know what electrocute means. So we're going to upgrade our gun. What in doubt? More gun. I, I need somebody with a machine gun. Plus one, plus 15 damage and more. Oh, we do have a reroll. I wonder if we can get more than three people at a time. We're level 12. How many minutes? Had, oh, it's been six minutes. See, that's a bad sign already. I looked at where we... No, 30 minutes in the game. That's a bad sign, though. I don't know if it's because I'm paying more attention to it. I can play Vampire Survivors practically forever and had to uninstall it so I could actually get work done. That's how addictive that game is. But I also didn't pay attention to it. I just let it happen. What's the money for? I can't click on it. Party for upgrades, for meta upgrades. Yeah, I would like goals in this game. I, I don't know why. In Vampire Survivors, I didn't really think about having a goal. So, <laughs> give me the dopamine. Give me the serotonin. Please. It's so lacking. And here... Maybe because I can see more people in the game. I can see figures and characters. Me, It makes me feel like I want more. There's a magnet. Getting us all our pickups. We're also at 258 HP. That's, that's not fantastic. And maybe that's the appeal of this kind of genre for me. Which is just not paying attention. Just playing it in the background. Just letting it be a thing. That is an interesting thing I didn't notice. If there were different kinds of zombies, I saw that big one. I hadn't noticed them till that point. Even that guy. So that could be some a point against his vis visual clarity. I don't know if you'd see it. However, I don't know if you had seen it when they were caught popping up, like those ghastly zombies. Well, not ghastly. I guess they're they're poisonous. So every time a turret spawns, we hang around it. Much like after every seven days, a week begins. Hmm. I want more direction. I don't know why. I just want more direction here. So the... I can't... Okay, no. Tasers are probably still work on zombies because it's like messing up the neuro... Not the neurons. The electron... No, not the electrons. But maybe electrons. But something. That firing in your body so to make them twitch. But I don't think it's going to hurt anybody. More turrets. Let's cool down on the turret. I wish we knew what the base cooldown was. It might have popped up earlier, but I didn't know. I am also not seeing... A lot of health. If I had picked up any health, I have not noticed. That was pretty... Oh, wait. There's an, there's, a, there's an arrow. Maybe you should pay attention to the screen. Is that new? Oh, it's a boss. The arrow is a boss. Okay, let's try that again. Get smashed. Yeah, try again. Training. Training. Let's upgrade our abilities. Uh, more health, more money, more damage. <laughs> experience, please. Thank you. Money equals experience points. Like, you, after you breach a total, instead of, like, the gold system in Vampire Survivors. And I know I've said a lot of the word Vampire Survivors a lot, but it is... It's not the creator of the genre. I believe that's a, some older game. Uh, let's start with the tank. He's got a shotgun. You also have a check out a beat while DJ revolves it. The it, but it 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 did codify it. It did make it famous, at least to me. It made it known to me. How about that? So I need to pay attention to my health. We were too slow to handle the other guy, and we only have three characters. So I don't know why I was thinking we could hire more people. Pretty slow. He's got to reload. Yeah, I'm gonna pay attention to whether or not they tell us the initial cooldown at the start. Although it would help to see what the final cooldown was. I know Vampire Survivors is actually kind of. Yeah, let's hire people first. Pew, 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 pew. Not a close range here. I guess you also gotta manage that. You also oh, that's just money. Give me the SWAT man. 1400 life. Is that our starting life? That might be our starting life. I haven't seen any room for passives yet. It's just all direct upgrades. I've not seen breakables on stage, but I assume this is pretty early in development. I just like this idea. The view I could I could zoom out more. More firing, more more pistol. I think I'll focus on the pistol more so that we can keep things away from us rather than letting them come near us. I'm also going to pay attention to what's happening on the ground and on the arrows. Love the crits, love the big numbers. Okay. Let's see electrocute. Maybe that's a, a better path than saw blade. 
pew, 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 pew. Do love the sound. It's it's very crisp. I don't know if it's because when I record, I I monitor my headphones directly through the sound device thing, whatever it is. The Scarlet. Uh, more tasers, yes. I plan, I, yeah, I listen to my voice for the Scarlet. And it removes, I think, some dimension to the noise. So... The sound for you, the sound you're hearing, might actually be a lot crisper and a lot heavier than what I'm hearing. So keep that in mind. But to me, it could use you know a little more kick. But I'm a bass head, you know, the kind of guy who doesn't really understand audio. Or pistol. Okay, not really not understand audio, but like, no, I don't understand audio. I know the basics of it enough to make this uh, the recordings work, but I do you know. Sometimes my friends talk about headphones and like, I can't tell the difference. The only time I felt the difference was when one of the headphones had this entire, was completely sound isolating. I couldn't hear my friends calling me names. <laughs> like That's the nice way to put it. When I put it on, I think it was a Sony. I put it on in the store and then that's the last I ever heard of it. There was almost a pun there, but... Whatever. Yep. There's zoomies. Yeah, visual identification is a little weird so far. Like, I can see them, but I can't tell them apart of the difference. I can tell from the... Even the animations are kind of... see Not samey, but not distinct enough. Because there are walkers, there's slow ones, there's the runners. Eventually, these won't be all zombies, I think. I think there's there's room to grow for this genre. There's room to grow for this specific game, rather. Ah, you can upgrade into SMG. And that's why you always upgrade one path first. Before anything else. Because you never know what you're going to get. That guy's still shooting a pistol, by the way, I think. Oh, no, it's a MAC-10. Or at least looks like a MAC-10. And if that doesn't, you know, show off my age, I don't know what will. Ooh, that hurt. I'm getting a little engrossed. I think the more upgrades we get, the crazier combos I realize are there. The the more excited I will be to boot this up. Let's start upgrading the shotgun. Tasers, eh, it's okay. But I want like something with kick and I think what? Some pushback? Some mass control. Wonder what the target prioritization is. That's something to study. If you ever like focus up on this game. I haven't seen any magnets. We saw a lot of magnets before. There's a wall here. Maps are much smaller. Largely because we're not just giant pixels, giant JPEGs or beam beeps floating around, being generated. Hey, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, there's a heart. Finally. Oh. Fire more, damn it. Could use a saw blade, but I'm gonna focus on the shotgun. Maybe get its first upgrade, whatever it is, and then work from there. Things are getting a little dense. I don't like the turret. I don't like the turret telling us we we have to stay in one place. Just circle around. I see yellow. I think that's a boss or a chest. Let's find out. Four minutes in. Come on. Oh, oh, big boys. Big chunky boys. Hey, chunker. Go towards where you've been. It is a chest. Give me the chest. Give me the chest. Please open. Oh, it's just an upgrade. Max out that shotgun, man. Hey, okay, we're at half health, so that kind of wasn't worth it. But there's health to be picked up over there. Mechanics of these games have always been, you know, very basic. But that's just part of the game. That's that's how it goes. So it's a matter of how quickly can it draw you in? How quickly, how interesting can it get in the first few minutes? Because, yeah, it's easy to be excited when you know what's happening. When you know what you can aim for, what builds you hope to roll into. You don't know that at the start. You're just playing a game. You're not looking for strategies. You're just enjoying yourself. And is that starting experience fun enough? Certainly, it's a little easier than... What you want to call it? The, the green forest in Vampire Survivors, which... I know, I've been saying that a lot. Electrocution 4. Yeah, more tiny sound effects, more... I think it'll be hard to challenge the experience. Please, no... Just keep moving, just keep moving the experience that Vampire Survivors made. Because if I remember correctly, that game was designed by someone. Oh, I can't pick that up. 
The game was designed by someone who was in the gambling industry and wanted to provide a similar dopamine or serotonin hit without, you know, the scumminess of gambling. And I think that's kind of neat. You use that, you use the mental tricks in gambling that casinos use, that uh, places like that use, like, like a lot of mobile games use for that matter. And I want to get that chest, but there's a lot happening right now. Uh, to to mess with you and just providing a nice positive experience. Give me this. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Double barrel shotgun. Wow. What a surprising upgrade. Okay, we have our first upgrade there. So now, so now, let's get another thing. Give me the magnet. Give me the magnet. Give me the magnet. Now we can start expanding our abilities. Uh, let's upgrade our basics first. We're doing pretty well of just upgrading our basics. Let's reroll. Yeah, let's max out, max out electrocution and hope that the chest gives us an upgrade. Uh, I don't think the chests lead into upgrades. I think it's just an instant way to to get the upgrade screen rather than required to get specific upgrades, at least at first glance. At first blush, who knows what other mechanics are going to be added. And I think that's something I want to mention. I want to mention WoW. Uh, hold on. It's uh, Put on your shoes. It's a bit of a walk. I want to mention WoW because WoW was not a good game. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, if you were to release WoW now, like, people would think it sucks. And I think that's what made it powerful. It wasn't the first MMO, but it was the, one of the first MMOs, I think, that... Or at least an MMO that was, like, so heavily supported, but it kept coming up with new things, new things to do, places, interactions, expansions... That when a new MMO came out, they couldn't they couldn't compete because no matter what, people are gonna finish the game and start looking for content. This is bad. Well, it's fired plus one, fire eight plus two. Let's fully upgrade the taser. Oh, that seemed very close. I'm a little concerned, but that's okay. We just have to go where no enemies are. Ah, oh, you almost got me, fair. You think that was that six hundred damage? Give me some health. And a lot of, like, MMOs that could have been good, could have been great, but a little more time, just died. Because people left. People stopped playing because the content wasn't enough. Because they were not being judged against base WoW. Base World of Warcraft. They were being based against the entire history of the game. And every, every improvement that has come since. And I think stuff like this it's relevant here because that's what i'm gonna you know as i've been showing you as i've been as my dialogue has been showing off that is what games like this have to ah, deal with ah oh, so close two more minutes we're gonna go on hunters they're gonna be compared we're gonna look at all the mechanics that that the the vampire survivors had and people are gonna ask where is this in the game End of statement. Uh, more charisma. Collect more. Charisma gives you more money. Bigger bullets. Always more experience first. Uh, this costs... Oh, costs five. Your agility. I don't care for endurance. And uh, health is fine. But totally unnecessary. Let's start. I don't know what the engineer's upgrade is, so I'm going to go pick up the engineer. I'm not bored, per se. But this is a game that I'd play in the background. So maybe the sound thing isn't as important, like, long term. Where's the bad guys? There you are. Because that might not, this might not be a game that I'd be, you know, wholly focusing myself on. It, this might be a game that I'm just... Here's a thing! Enjoy! Recruits first. More guns shooting mean more iron. I don't know if I noticed it or not. I'll check at the end of this run. I want to find out if there's a number screen that tells us how effective each unit was. Taser. Taser! I don't know how much more to improve our team. Aside from maybe health or finding a way to heal up because we don't have a lot of heals. Maybe the engineer has the heals. Yeah, let's level up our engineer first. It is certainly unique enough to stand out from Vampire Survivor. So I guess the primary question is, 
if you have vampire survivors, which for me is 90 pesos, like a, less than a dollar or like two dollars for me, why are you upgraded? It w would this game be worth playing over that? Aesthetics, that's that's up to you. Uh, you have to figure out whether you want these graphics, you want the zombie aesthetic, quote unquote, which is a weird sentence to say, honestly. Your pistol. Because zombies not really an. I mean, yes, it can be an aesthetic in some way, but very few zombie movies have come out without commentary behind it. I think about Star Trek, and it's an because because it was an allegory towards the, for the Cold War, and zombies have always been kind of a metaphor for capitalism. And so forth. Or something, I don't know. But it's always been a metaphor of something. I'm pretty sure one of the... Uh, of the dead movies, the one by Romero. I think it's Romero. Uh, it was like around a... A high-rise or a mall. And <laughs> making the, the comparison very apt and very clear. A Tesla. Zap. Zap. I hope it doesn't explode in my hands. Zap. Big zappies. Big mig zappies for you. Oh, I like that. It chains. So we just need some support fire on things and we'll be good to go. I think I don't want to upgrade the shotgun guy. Electrocution, let's upgrade that. I think the engineer has some of the best crowd control in the game, so we shouldn't end up running away from too much stuff. More interestingly, well, as interestingly, or at least I just realized, there's no directed attacks uh, in... Other games like Vampire Survivors. There are others. I also play Holocure. Uh, <laughs> fine. Let's let's say Holocure. Uh, other games like Holocure. Uh, there are characters like Ame. Ooh, give me the pistol. Give me the pistol. Ooh, bam, 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 bam. I'm getting distracted. Who you have to face a certain direction. So the damage is dealt. This one, I don't think there's anything that determines where they shoot. It's wholly automatic. Right now, I think it's automatic towards... The Huntress might have it, but we have to get to 10 minutes for that. I don't like any of this. More electrocution. I don't know. Maybe we should have upgraded the... The pistol. I also feel like we should be come from the bosses instead of just falling off, but that might be a demo thing. More Tesla. Now we can figure out if there's an upgrade beyond the Tesla. It's called the... It's called a car. A normal car. You know, one that doesn't threaten to explode in the flood. And I do live... Well, I used to live in a very flood-prone area, so... That was a concern for me. Like, how do those batteries not explode? Turns out... Kablamo. Now I've lost my train of thought. More Teslas mean more iron. That's a lot of damage, though. Okay, we're picking up XP. We're waiting for the big guy. I'm waiting for the red indicator. Currently, focusing on the engineer seems to be the ball and out of control build because it's got... Look at it. It's shocking everybody. Oh, wait. There it is. We don't have directed attacks, which might make this kind of game a little easier because you can angle, you can shoot directly. So you always have like a clear path. It might not be as big a concern here because the walls, the, the levels are much smaller. I'm going to explore down left because we haven't been there. I want to see if there's anything there. Nice try, nerds. I also don't know what our hitbox is. Is this our hitbox? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. It, it, uh, uh, give me that. Give me that XP. Give me that XP. Uh, let's find out. Okay, so one po That's very useful. The fact that just poking the green dude makes him blow up, then the Tesla... Up. Him. Uh, they are they are starting to, to run up on us. Run up, running up on a thug, and I am the thug. Look, I am as thug as a peach mango pie. I'm not <laughs> in that I'm not. I wonder if I should bother getting like passives like the automatic turret. Well, let's finish an upgrade path first and work from there. Even if you don't know what you're doing in a survivor's or a horde survival type game. Generally, just upgrading one thing and using it the best you can is the way to go. Because upgrades, depending on the upgrades, uh, some games have them as a... They don't they don't scale very well. They're flat. They're linear growth. 
So upgrading sideways is still okay. And some games are... Quadratic? I want to say that's the word. Quadratic growth. That the high, the more you invest in it, the better it is. Multiplicative? Maybe something like that. So you get less value by spreading the upgrades around. Also, these guys hurt. Holy cow. And the game is really stingy about hearts. I need some health. Stat. Give it to me. Is there a map? There isn't. Is that money? Give me the dosh. Give me the dosh. Give me the dosh. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing this. I don't know if I'm ever going to stream it. But that's like a completely different mindset that, than for most people. Um, so, four checkers before choo choo. But I would definitely play this like just holding it, just just hanging with it while I'm watching like YouTube or something. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. You don't have to stay. Once the circle's complete, you can run away. Run, 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 run. Electrocute away. Ah, that's interesting. Picking up an upgrade does not reset it does not reset its cooldown so maybe electrocution was the wrong thing to pick if the turret thank you for the turret i don't want it automatic turret spawns an automatic turret every 25 seconds if it draws aggro i might like it a lot more oh wow you play it and then the cooldown starts there it is there it is Okay, that's, that was not as impressive as I thought. I'd like to find out if the passive abilities, the non-main gun abilities, could actually get upgrades as well. My bet is yes. Uh, we just need to live. We the health. Is that red? That's health, right? Nope, that's HP. Wow. The off angle is messing me up a little. I, I just need to live to find out if we can upgrade Electrocute. Anybody want to give me health? You want to give me health? No. You're going to be you're going to be stingy about this. Oh no. 9 health, baby. 9 health in a dream. 9 health, 9 health in a dream. Gonna run over here. Please don't hit me. You suck. You are a loser. Don't you touch me. You are a loser. Thank you shotgun guy. Thank you machine gun guy. And now he's dead and we're okay. Well, no, we're not, we're not okay. I need, like, to live. Just keep going in circles, baby boy. Don't touch the red circles. Wow. A lot of you guys popping up today, huh? Oh, nice try, nerd. You ain't gonna kill me like that. You're gonna have to try a little harder. Look at our, look at our HP. Look at our stupid HP. Boink, boink, boink. I do like that sound. I like the picking up the XP sound. That sound. Dug, 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 dug. Give me a level up. I just want to discover something about the game. I want to learn the mechanics. Eight minutes in. You think there's a mini boss at eight? I bet it's yes. Oh, yes. Let me sit here. Thank you. Oh. Uh. Well, it's not what I wanted to see, but here we are. Health? No, that's money. Green. I keep thinking that's health. Oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have gone back. But now I can go in a circle. Where's the turret? Fire turret. Mr. Turret, sir, what will your pleasure be? Please. Ah, dodge. So it's not the circle. It's actually like the, the character models are the damage. Because we didn't take any damage there. And I know they went in the circle. Or at least I saw that they went in the circle. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ha, 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 Okay, so I'm thinking that there's no upgrade for these. Uh, I want to get the magnet. Believe me. That is on my to-do list. Santa, please. Give me the magnet. Give me the magnet. Pat Wanty. Car here. This is a really weird street, by the way. There are no buildings here. It's like a park. I do not like this angle. Oh, this is bad. Ah, yes. The Incredible Adventures of Double Boss. Because that's what I want to do. Oh, please. No, 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 no. Whoa, triple boss, huh? You guys are crazy. Ah, 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 ah. The boss didn't even get us. Ah, 36 minutes. Uh, 36 seconds. Oh, it does show you damage. 
Wow, look at the DPS on the SMG. Wow. It's terrible. Because, like, it's 176 for, the pist for Pistol 4, and we're not using both at the same time. It only deals... Uh... But for way less time, uh, it dealt more damage. I don't know how to read this. It feels like it's such a tiny upgrade. For the taser, yeah, it's super fast. No, see, it's like a a difference of five? The calculations has to be wrong. Oh, no, that's an execution. I bet. See, Tesla and Taser have a huge difference, but Pistol and SMG don't. That's interesting. The damage and the of a tank though as well and that's our 30 minutes so my final thought on this is yeah i'd play it in the background which is probably what this game is meant to be hope that was useful for you thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it uh like comment subscribe follow me on twitter do all, all those nice things and more that's it i'm panator i'll see you later